Hey y'all, welcome back to The Ranch. I'm Jared Paul, and today we're going to get to pruning one of my topiary style larger bonsai trees. Um, I've showed it in recent updates where it, uh, it actually started growing underneath the front steps at the ranch. And when I moved in a couple of years ago, I saw, oh man, this thing already has a nice start um, to its trunk, but it had just one tiny little leaf, little branch situation going on. So it's been a, a work in progress, but it's really started to fill out. And I'm thinking that I want to take advantage of the really hot summer that we're having and see if I can get like some more ramification built up before fall when it goes dormant again. Uh, but before we get to that, I wanted to give an update on my Delonyx Regia. You see I pruned it really, really hard. And camera, you're going to cooperate. There we go. So you see right where uh, the crotch of the branch that I cut, we're already starting to butt out. And that's all over this sucker. So feeling really good about that. I only left those couple of smaller branches. Let's see. Get a brighter focus okay well you get the idea everything's looking good what i left is looking good it didn't brown up and there's some new stuff coming so uh excited about that all right so we're going to um uh, get to this tree i believe it's a hickory um yeah yeah it's a hickory i think i decided that so uh that's what's coming up on today's episode of jarhead bonsai Right, y'all. So here we have it. Um, when the leaves grow in in spring, they're really pretty. They're bright yellowish green. You see these have a nice little shape to them. Oh, here we go. Here's some new growth. Um, even these are a little old, so they're getting a darker, rougher texture. Uh, but I thought it was really cool. You see down here, it comes up. There's actually a little bit of a cave here. Some texture, which gives it some character. Nice little taper in. I, I'd like this part to get a little thicker than this part, but they're about the same right now. And then you see it makes that nice hook over, comes up with a nice little other. There's some, some nice movement in the trunk going up. And then I, I love the thought of a nice big round canopy on this one. Um, I like the height of it. I think I might have potential back budding here. Um, I got a little one here, um, but I don't know that I would take it down shorter than where it is at this this apex point. So why don't I just shut my mouth and start pruning? Okay, a lot of vertical growth. So I'm gonna take I'm gonna take those back to right below the second to last um, set of leaves. This way it leaves. I don't really know this species that well. It does look like there's some dieback from the first time I pruned it, maybe second time I pruned it. Um, so to be on the safe side, just like with maples, uh, birches, you wanna leave as much room as you can between um, the cut point and the first uh, node. And then the next time you prune, you go in you take out the nasty part. And it helps show you, okay, the last time I pruned this, I went from one to two like you're supposed to. So this is a good process for this tree. Let's keep it going. Yeah, it was really funny. It was just an ugly tree. It was like one little branch just like that. It came up with just one little branch. Now it's just really full. So, Chari Bonsai, we're working on my third year of doing bonsai. So, if things aren't done in the exact correct season, or, um, you know, I'm doing something that may seem incorrect, it's, it's possible and probable. But if I do something in the wrong season, it is because I have so many trees that, like, I would have to, you know, not work for a living and solely do that if I was going to 
rattle them all off in the first two weeks of spring when you're supposed to do your pruning and like you know the correct time to do um, repotting which I think this fall I'm going to be really busy with repotting <laughs> really busy because I've put it off because it's I don't want to say the scariest part of bonsai for me but I would say it's the part I'm least comfortable with and I've lost the most trees repotting pruning defoliating I've had a lot of success germinating from seed lots of success repotting not so much so I'm just going to remove some of the older leaves, give the younger ones some room. I still want to leave it attractive for this season, so. I like the width. I'll take it back a little bit. Yep, you know what? I'll take it back all the way. See if we can get some. I really want this to be more of an ornamental tree than have like a wacky um design up here just want it to be nice full round beautiful canopy um, and develop the trunk over time If my phone shuts off, it's because it's going to overheat because it's 93 degrees Fahrenheit right now. I, I just don't have the brain power to convert that to Celsius for you people that need that. <laughs> it was a crazy Monday morning. My clients were feeling extra crazy. And anyways, I am happy to be doing bonsai and not math. hopper up here that's one of the few insects that doesn't harm your plants <laughs> I've had plenty of spider mites and black and green aphids and mealybugs this year say the least indoors outdoors it's been rough even some Japanese beetles out here some potato beetle yep things where you just keep going <laughs> all right i have a feeling though like this thing will kick off a ton of growth pretty much right away so let's see that it's kind of a mess in here let me get the dead stuff out but it might be one of those things where it's a mess now but as they grow out it might work you know they'll grow away from each other so I don't know when I pruned this last. It was probably spring. Some of these smaller interior leaves. Really cluttered. branch growing directly down too quickly so I'll take that out I want it to kind of come out like that very little vertical you know have it nice and have the leaves nice there so you don't see this part but and probably let the canopy come down to about here I wonder if this branch might become something interesting in the future but we'll see right now I want to keep um, developing this nice little topiary style ornamental. Okay, take out one more set here. I think that's good. Well, this branch is growing back towards the center.
Okay, cool. All right, so you can see it kind of starting to take shape. Uh, it's definitely unique. It is a survivor. It came up. I mean, think about how hard it is to grow trees in ideal conditions. This thing grew up into some steps. All right, y'all. So I don't even know if you got it when I said, okay, it's really hot out, so it might shut my phone might shut down due to overheating. Um, I don't know when it shut off, but here she is. Nice little start to a taller topiary style bonsai. See that little knot that I was talking about? See there? That's pretty cool. Definitely got to thicken this part. So, hmm. we'll see how it develops. Definitely a survivor. It's hard enough to grow a tree with ideal conditions, let alone on your own in nature under a step. So, I'm happy to have it. Maybe four or five years old. All right, so that's going to do it for us today here at the ranch, y'all. I'm just going to get this thing watered up and get it back in its spot there in the corner on top of the chair. And... I'm probably going to go take a dip in the pond because I am sweating. So hope you all have a great day. Take care.